Have you ever decided to do something so badly but lacked the impetus to start it off? Maybe start your dream business, write a book, could be a novel, a storybook for that matter, or even write a poem, sing a song, name it, there you go. You are not alone. Thousands and thousands of people, or even millions, find themselves in this same situation. On one hand, a very noble idea, very noble indeed, while on the other hand, fear, fear and uncertainty. Taking that initial step of starting your dream project looks like the hardest thing ever, the tallest mountain to climb or the steepest cliff to scale. You say, I'll do it tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or even better, I'll do it next week. This never happens. You are always where you started. No, just where you never started. Ground zero. The desire in you pressures you on. But fear from you don't know where keeps on popping out its head and holding you back from making those baby steps. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of people's opinion, fear, fear, right, left, center. By the end of it all, poop, you end up doing nothing. Your dream dies off. You get anxious, disappointed, desperate. Finally, you give up. What would have ended up as a great, great undertaking slithers away right on your face. Pew! What is left of you? A regulating soul. Low self-esteem. You hate yourself and cast that silly idea you thought could have made it up to something. This is just but being unfair to yourself, judging yourself too early in the day. Remember, so many of those people who have succeeded didn't make it on their first attempt, nor the second, third, or even the tenth. Thomas Alpha Edison, the guy who invented the light bulb, made a total of 2,774 attempts. 2,774 attempts before succeeding. This means he failed for 2,774 times. Suppose he gave up when he reached the 2,774th attempt. Today, you and me would still be in darkness, hypothetically speaking. Yourself now, how many times have you failed? Have you even started? Have you so far superseded the 2000 mark? I highly doubt. Could be you have just tried two, three times, and there you are calling it quit. Is it yet time to quit? I may ask. Today, we'll have a look at five obstacles that keep people from achieving their set goals. Coming top at number one is fear of failure. This is the worst enemy to success. It's the main root cause of procrastination. Most of the time you find someone procrastinating. At the back of his mind is the fear of failure. It's a fear that our efforts won't bear fruit, nor realize the high expectations we have set for ourselves. This fear can paralyze you leading to a delay in starting or completing tasks. Ed game, status quo. We end up doing nothing because by doing nothing we cannot fail. <laughs> Quite ridiculous. To overcome this fear, start by asking yourself the following two questions. Question number one. What is the worst thing that could happen if you went ahead and started your task or project? What is the worst case scenario? In most cases, failure does not change much about your current situation. Unless maybe you had risked all your life savings. In any case, it's your saving and you can still start all over again. 
I know you are asking. What are you saying? To answer you, I go to our second question that you should ask yourself before you allow yourself to fail. And that is, what if you succeed? Think of how your life and that of your loved ones would improve overnight if you succeeded. Your business booms. Your income skyrockets. Your dream comes true all of a sudden. The naysayers around you get dumbfounded while you scale from one glory to another. That is you, but only after you overcome fear. And how do you get over fear of failure? How do you defeat this fear of failure? Consider the following points. Number one, accept that failure is normal. It's nothing new. There's nothing new about it. And it has been there since time in memorial. You will not be the first person to fail. The more we fail, the more we learn. After testing a thousand filaments and failing, Thomas Alpha Edison was once asked about his opinion on his multiple failures. And he answered, I have not failed a thousand times. I have successfully discovered a thousand ways not to make a light bulb. That was his answer. That he had not failed a thousand times. But a thousand times he had learned ways which could not make a light bulb. The second point to consider is adopt a beginner's mind. There is always the first time. Find refuge in the fact that there is always a first time to everything. You are just a beginner. Consider every situation as a learning opportunity, bearing in mind the fact that you cannot be a pro on first attempt, no matter how good you are. You will always encounter challenges, and that's okay. Even if you make three steps forward and two steps backward, at least you have made progress one step forward. Point number three, give yourself more options. Do not limit yourselves to the thought of failure. Never remain fixed on one outcome, which is failure. Think of other options like instant success or even some delayed success. New opportunities like meeting new people in the industry or even learning something new altogether. Consider the possibility that things could turn out better than you expected. Get yourself to believe that anything is possible. Point number four. Be afraid, but do it anyway. Even if you fear, even if you are afraid, go ahead and do it. Even if your fear remains, go ahead and undertake your task. Never let your fear control you. Instead, take charge of things. With the bravery, rise up to the occasion. Take the bull by the horns and let things set themselves out. The number two problem that brings about procrastination is the uncertainty in decision making. When faced by numerous or ambiguous choices, we become anxious and this hinders our decision making. I remember during our high school days, a colleague of mine would always make the wrong choice owing to anxiety. Our meals were served on plates and placed on the serving table. When we got in, we picked our food and proceeded to where we were supposed to sit. This guy would spot from far the plate that seemed to carry more food and go straight for it. But on reaching the table, he always got anxious. He was always uncertain whether his first choice was the correct one. He would lift the plate, then quickly drop it and pick another. Then it would dawn on him that he had made a mistake. Dropping the second plate, he would quickly turn to the one he had picked earlier, only to realize that someone had already picked it. Quickly, he would turn back to his second choice, but this one too has gone. By the end of it all, 
he would end up with a plate carrying the least amount of food. Reason? Bad choice. Occasioned by anxiety. Anxiety distracted him from making the right choice. The tragedy of it all is that he never learned his lesson. If you have an idea, do not let anxiety distract you. Get over it and let the rubber hit the road. At number three of the causes that cause procrastination is overload and time pressure. Sometimes one may procrastinate a task because of its nature. A task that is likely to bring with it some form of discomfort or unpleasant emotions may easily tempt you to postpone it or do away with it altogether. Take for example, you have ahead of you an interview with a hostile or unpredictable person. You keep on worrying about the outcome. Maybe a confrontation will arise, a bitter exchange of words, and anxiety grips you. And top among the options, dropping the whole idea. That is a problem. That is procrastination. That is occasioned by overload and time pressure. You are pressurized by that anxiety until you say quit. Number four, overwhelm and perfectionism. When you are faced by a difficult task, it is likely for you to end up feeling overwhelmed, which is okay and which is normal. On the other hand, pressure to be perfect does not help either. That desire to get near perfect results piles pressure on you and chances are that you may easily postpone the task. Remember, no one is perfect. Perfectionism is also a problem. It's a disease. It's a cause to procrastination. Just because you do not want to fail, just because you want to achieve perfect results, this may lead to postponement or to delay in executing a task. Number five, lack of self-confidence. This is a major contributor in as far as procrastination is concerned. Ahead of you is a task, but you are not quite sure about your ability to perform it. You have doubts about yourself. You keep on asking yourself whether you have what it takes to accomplish the task. Apart from doubting yourself, you worry a lot about what people will say about you. How will they view you? What will be the people's opinion about you? In a nutshell, when you have a task to carry out, do not procrastinate. Get on with it no matter what. Remember, you cannot succeed without doing it. You stand no chance to score 100%, not unless you start anyway. You cannot score a goal, not unless you kick the ball. Chances of missing a goal by not kicking the ball are at a hundred percent but the probability of scoring a goal once you kick the ball is 50 50 so for you instead of sitting there regretting fearing why don't you rise up to the occasion and get your project going maybe it's a business you want to start a business to sell some merchandise but you have fear Will people buy? How will I convince them to buy my products? Why are you feeling? Have you tried? Have you attempted? Where are the products in the first place before the customers refuse to buy them? Get, get rid of the first enemy we have talked about, and that is fear. You cannot go anywhere with fear. If a small kid who is just learning how to start walking fears to fall. Will that kid ever learn how to walk? Never. You must take the risk and the time is now. That business idea of yours.
cry it out. Do not delay. Do not fear. Those other people out there who have succeeded started one day. The Chinese people say a journey of a thousand miles starts by one step. Have you made that one step yourself? This is a big question. The time to start is now. Do it now. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.